be 60 of the time. Mm -hmm. you know, and I say, God, you got me here for a reason, and I have to touch each and every life and be a mentor mm -hmm. to everybody. So, that, you know, without God, I would not be here uh, at all. Amen. Yeah. So that's no is a perfectly good answer. What's wrong with no? What you cry for? For what? Isn't yes? Why is yes always the right answer? It's not. Some of y'all sitting there, I'm sorry, I have that gift to a prophecy, and I just, I'm going to say this and I'm going to shut up. But somebody just got to know. What's no backwards? On. Let him put you on. Mama, dad, nobody else, but you got to keep moving. I'm going to recap because I'm a trainer. Don't let no stop you, right? Because that means you're going to be on. I'm going to be stealing it all the time. <laughs> yeah, all y'all can take that. Yeah, y'all yeah, free. That's a free one. Don't, 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 don't allow family, friends, and all those people to distract you. Iterate what you guys were talking about. I also like to say no stands for next opportunity. Yep. So right. if they don't like it, that's fine. We'll just keep the process running in your industry. And I think the most important thing is expertise. Make sure that you know what you're talking about and that you've perfected your skill as much as possible. A lot of times we think, okay, well, if I become friends with so-and-so, they're going to hook me up. Or if I talk to him, I know he got a lot of connects, so this is bound to work. But people will let you down. If you have the expertise and the talent and whatever it is that you're doing, and if you just proceed to do what you need to do, your brand will remain relevant. And listen to your audience. So how important is it to build industry relationships? Kind of like what we're doing today, networking, coming together to empower. How, how important is it to build? So building relationships in your industry, within your industry. Um, learn who your competitors are. Become friends with your competitors. Me and Ty are both my friends. And we sit on the phone and motivate each other all the time. Ty comes to my house. We sit there and we cry right time. <laughs> but it's about it's about helping each other. Yes. And you learn who your competitors are and you make friends with your competitors. That's right. You find your niche. Going back to brands, you have to find but also know that there are, there's power in numbers. So build that team. You can't do it all by yourself. Right. We all think you know we can do this alone, but we can't. Um, going back to my talent, Jason Mitchell, who's straight out of Compton. We're sitting, and I don't know if you were there at, a studio, at the studio no, when we had it. all these agents there, and they all were white. And Jason has tattoos on his own arms and all over his body, and nobody would touch him. None of the white agents would touch him. But I saw something in him. I was there. You were there? Yes. I saw something in him, and I said, I'm going to bring you to me. And look where he is today. Mm -hmm. He went from Hollywood to Hollywood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, today he doesn't have any money today. He's a millionaire. Yes. But it's about helping people and helping your own. Because you can't help anybody else if you don't bring it home first. Yeah. And I think the African American people in my community.